Democratic Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal was speaking at a progressive gathering in Chicago last weekend when she was interrupted by Palestinian rights protesters. And this is how she responded. I want you to know that we have been fighting to make it clear that Israel is a racist state, that the Palestinian people deserve self-determination and autonomy, that the dream that the dream of a two-state solution is slipping away from us, that it is not, that it does not even feel possible. Wow, strong stuff, but not strong for long. Jayapal clarified her comments the very next day, saying, quote, I do not believe the idea of Israel as a nation is racist. I do, however, believe that Prime Minister Netanyahu's extreme right-wing government has engaged in discriminatory and outright racist policies. And yet still, she faced a massive backlash from both parties on Capitol Hill, where Israel's president addressed a joint session of Congress on Wednesday. Her own party leaders in the House put out a statement saying, quote, Israel is not a racist state. Other House Democrats put out a letter warning that words like Jayapal's are dangerous and anti-Semitic. Of course, these outraged Democrats were nowhere to be seen when Israeli forces went on a rampage just the other week, destroying Palestinian properties in the occupied West Bank and attacking, among others, Palestinian Americans there. Meanwhile, Republicans were quick to intervene, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy saying Democratic leaders needed to take action against Jayapal over alleged anti-Semitism, even though McCarthy has had little to say about the blatant and undeniable anti-Semitism of his own members, people like Paul Gosar and Marjorie Taylor Greene, who speak at events hosted by white nationalist Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes. His party ironically also hosted RFK Jr. for a House committee hearing on Thursday, days after video emerged of Kennedy Jr suggesting COVID-19 may have been engineered to spare the Jews. But back to Jayapal and her statement, which also prompted an entire House resolution declaring Israel not a racist or apartheid state, and which passed 412 votes to nine, with Jayapal among the 412. So, is Israel a racist state? Well, don't take Jayapal's original word for it, or even my own. Just have a read of Israel's 2018 nation-state law that was passed under Prime Minister Netanyahu as the equivalent of what we in the U.S. would call a constitutional amendment. It says, quote, The realization of the right to national self-determination in the state of Israel is exclusive to the Jewish people. And the state views the development of Jewish settlement as a national value. Exclusive to the Jewish people and Jewish settlement as a national value. No mention in that Israeli law of a Palestinian right to self-determination in a country where they represent one-fifth of the population, or of Palestinian settlement as a national value in a country that continues to illegally occupy Palestinian lands. So how exactly should we describe a country like that?